Swing low, sweet chariot, linking heaven and earth, linking through the unshakable love of God. And that knowledge may lead us to want to pray for the world in all its muddle. So let's do that. And the prayer of the church for this week is this. God of constant mercy, who sent your Son to save us, remind us of your goodness, increase your grace within us, that our thankfulness may grow through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And then let's pray, particularly this week, for children and young people who are going to school, going back to school perhaps, or to college, possibly for the first time. And they do so in this atmosphere when we are all worried about the virus. So different measures will be needed. Lord, be with all young people at this time to give them confidence and hope and to discover the fullness of the talents that you have given to them. Bless to their teachers, give them wisdom, strength, firmness of purpose and peace of heart, and surround all with your protection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for all who are dear to us, maybe some children or grandchildren, even great-grandchildren perhaps, but also other relatives and friends. Be with them too in this time of testing and of frustration and of demand. Protect us from tiredness. Give us the strength we need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all the residents and staff here. Thank you for them and for their being here, their cheerfulness, their hope. Protect and lead them, Lord, in all that is helpful and constructive and give them, when possible, rest and refreshment. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the government and all in authority, all carers, nurses, doctors, all in the health service, and everybody else who, in one way or another, has found their lives reshaped by the virus. Give them wisdom and peace, Lord, and protect them and guide them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we think of our country, so we think too of those around the world where many places are in trouble at the moment, whether with natural disaster or human conflict or sickness or economic problems. Lord, be present everywhere, we pray, and may your unconditional love be known and give strength and peace in every land and nation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
And let's gather all of these prayers together in the words which Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now a final hymn, Be Thou My Vision. <laughs> 